Hey guys, configuration management tools follow two different architectures to achieve their objectives. Pull based versus push based. In a pull based architecture, you have a master server which stores all the configuration information and then you install agents on each of the server for which you want to manage the configuration. In this architecture, the agent will regularly poll the master server to check if there are any changes. Tools like Puppet and Chef use pull-based architecture. It is called pull-based because an agent pulls the configuration information from the master server. Now compared to pull-based, in a push-based architecture, a central server pushes the configuration changes onto the target systems. Ansible is push-based. In a pull-based system, clients contact the server independently of each other Therefore, the system as a whole is more scalable than a push system. However, the downside is that you need to install and manage an agent on each of the target systems. Now, in a push-based system, it is very easy to do the initial configuration as you do not need to manage a, or install an agent. However, once you start scaling your infrastructure, things start to get complicated and you start seeing performance issues unless you do stuff like hyperthreading, etc. Now there's one more entity I want to talk about. It's called a version control system. For example, Git. This version control system helps you version control your code and makes it easy for you to roll back your changes. Now in development environments, all the code and configuration will be stored in this version control system and the master servers whether it is push based or pull based will continuously poll the version control system for any changes. Therefore, the information or code gets stored in the version control system, gets version controlled, and then the master servers poll the version control system for changes in the code. And then once they receive any changes based on the architecture, the agents will either pull from the master server or the master server will push those changes onto the target systems. With this, we've come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.